Hey everyone, Mike with Financeable here. We have another interview question review for you. If you find these videos helpful, please do subscribe. We have a lot more coming. Today we're gonna to take a look at what is probably the most common LBO related question in both investment banking and private equity interviews, which is just simply walk me through an LBO. So that's what we're gonna take a look at. Let's hop in. I wanna kick things off by talking about the very high level frame here, which is we wanna keep the answer to this type of question and, and most questions, but particularly this type of question, very high level. You don't want to get lost in the weeds. Um, if you do that, people will drag you down a rabbit hole. You'll have a hard time answering questions and it'll just get more and more complicated. So we wanna keep this whole thing very high level. And I'm gonna walk you through six steps that'll help you keep all of this organized uh, and explain what happens in an LBO. So let's take a look here to begin with. So what is an LBO? Well, to start with, step one is the L an LBO is a purchase of a business. And the way that we purchase businesses in private equity or the way that we would, we would express the purchase of a business is we'd say, well, we bought a business and it had, let's say $10 of EBITDA. And the way that companies are valued or, or sort of frame, the way valuation is framed in the LBO world is as a multiple of EBITDA typically. Let's say 10 times here. So we're gonna imagine we buy a business for 10 times $10 of EBITDA, which means we're purchasing the business for $100. That's step one. Step one is we purchase a business um, based on a multiple of EBITDA. Now this is a leveraged buyout, meaning we use debt and, and equity as well, our own equity. And so step two is we finance the purchase, let's say with $50 of debt, and we fund the remainder with equity as the private equity fund or financial sponsor is another term for that. So let's go over here, make that green. This is our investment, okay? So step two is we finance the purchase with a combination of debt and equity. Now we own this business and we actually get to collect the cash flows of this business because it's ours. And so step three is we collect cash flows and let's say it's $20 of cash flow, just for illustration purposes here. That's step three. Um, and that cash flow can be used to pay down the debt of the business when we sell, which we'll get to in just a second. So step three, we collect the cash flows that we can use to pay down debt. Step four, we sell the business. Now, we are typically, similar to the purchase, going to sell the business uh, on a multiple EBITDA. And the trick here is we generally underwrite to the same exit multiple as when we entered. And let's imagine that EBITDA grew while we owned it, owned the business from 10 to 13. We would sell the business at 10 times $13 or $130. So the next step here, step four, is we sell the business at a multiple of EBITDA. And again, typically you keep that multiple constant. We don't get to collect all that money though, because remember we have lenders. So the lenders have to be paid back first, but we started with $50 of debt and we generated 20 of cash flow. So instead of having $50 to pay down, we only have to pay down $30 of debt when we sell. Now, as the owner, we get to keep the remainder. Hit the wrong button here. We get to keep all of this. So we sell it for 130, we pay down the debt, and the remaining $100 is our, our uh, return or our proceeds when we sell. So step five is we pay off debt and keep the remainder. The last step here, step six, is assessing our investment. So we put in $50 and we got out $100. So we generated a two times return or a two times multiple of money. So we put in 50, we got out 100. And that roughly translates to a 15% annualized return over five years. And there's actually a rule of thumb that we'll cover a little bit later uh, on that 15%. But Short story here is this six step framework is an LBO in a nutshell. So to quickly recap all the steps. So step one is we buy a business and we pay a uh, multiple EBITDA to buy the business. Step two is we fund the business with a combination of debt and equity. Step three is we get the cash flows of the business as the owner, which we can use to pay down debt. Step four, we sell the business again at a multiple of EBITDA and hopefully EBITDA has grown. Step five, we pay off our lenders and we keep the remainder. And then step six is we assess the returns and we can look at a multiple of money or an annualized return, which would be your internal rate of return or IRR. So hopefully that clarifies things here. Um, and again, I really try to keep these answers high level. When you answer them, I would not go deep in the weeds on 
all the nuts and bolts. For example, you could go into the nuts and bolts of cash flow, for example, and dig deep, keep it very high level. Don't do that. Don't, don't go into the weeds and then let, let the interviewer pull you into the details. Um, so hopefully this helps guys. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch another one of these videos. And again, please do subscribe. Uh, we have a lot more of these coming and hope to see everyone soon.